Number one tip that I would give a home seller right now is to just listen to your realtor. Listen to your real estate agent because they have your best interest in mind. They're the ones that have all the pressure. They have to try to figure out how to sell your home for the most amount of money as quick as possible. And so trust what they're telling you when they tell you, hey, this is what I think this is worth. It's okay to have conversation with them and say, well, what about this? Or what do you think of this? Or can we do this price-wise? The problem is, is that some people think that a real estate agent just wants to turn a, a commission check really quick. I mean, yeah, we do, we do, that's the truth of it, but you also wanna sell your home quickly. Um, and and the problem is, is that as your agent, you, you want me to make you the most money possible because see, I have a lot riding on selling your property. I have my reputation, I have what you think of me and, and how we conducted business together. So I want to give you the most money possible, but I also have to do it as quick as possible. And hopefully that's what you want as well. I, I, I don't ever want to have a client call me and tell me, hey, come sell my home, but I really don't want to sell or I'm not in a hurry. That's the worst thing you could tell me because then that puts me mentally a little bit in limbo. Um, because see, when you, when you hire a realtor to sell your home, we're looking at how do we maximize your profit and turn it as quick as possible. And the buyers, uh, not so much that they're the opponents in this game of real estate sales, but they're also looking out for their own interests. And you see a house sitting on the market for three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, so on. Those buyers start to look at it as, as one of two things. Uh, what's wrong? What's wrong with this property? Um, or, hey, this house has been sitting for a while. I'm thinking these people want to sell. Obviously they do. They have their house on the market. Now's the time for me to go in and let me see if I can knock $10,000 off the price. Let me see if I can get something now because they've been sitting, they don't have any offers, you know, or their buyer's agent's gonna look at it and go, hey, Mr. Buyer, uh, let's come back to this one later. I think it's slightly overpriced. People do that. I've had sellers tell me, well, let's overprice so they can negotiate back down. It doesn't work that way. Typically what happens is, if your house is on the market for a long time and it's priced right, they're gonna negotiate down. If your house is, is priced right and it's not on the market a long time, you're gonna get closer to what you're asking. If it's overpriced and it's been on the market a long time, you actually lose money doing that because nobody is going to pay you what you want and they won't even make an offer. They'll look at it and they'll say, oh, that's too much and they won't come back. That's just how our culture operates. You know, people sometimes, uh, uh, don't want to offend. They're not going to see, you know, we have a client that we at, we told them one number, they were 55,000 over. They've had a few showings that actually didn't help me at all. Try to convince them to, they needed to get, this is where I think this is going to appraise or close to it. Um, and they've got no offers. And now we don't even have show. It's like all the attention on this property fell off. And now I'm in a situation where they've hired me to sell their property. What else can I do if they won't do the one thing that I've told them we're not doing right but of course every day what's going on with my house have you done this have you done that it's it's back on me and I'm thinking man I, I'm, I'm working with an empty toolbox here I have nothing else that I can do because we've, we've got the professional photographer we've got all the marketing out there it's in two MLS's now it's back on me and I'm thinking, man, you're calling me every day. I'm stressed because I want to provide the best service for you, but I just can't get you to buy into what I'm trying to get you to understand. Your house is $55,000 over what we recommended. No traffic. Now what's going to end up happening is they're going to do a price reduction. They're going to need to do a major price reduction to create this pandemonium to get buyers back interested into their property because that simple $10,000 price reduction, that's not going to cut it. That's still overpriced anyways by $45,000. But now they're in a pickle because they've moved out of their home. They both have jobs somewhere else. The house is empty and I'm still asking them and trying to engage them. And it's not even simply I'm asking, I'm showing proof like, hey, look, this is what the market is telling us. We, we think your house will appraise for it. This is what we think we can get for it. Now they're gonna find themselves in a situation where we may not even be able to get 350,000 for it. And I'm willing to bet I'm willing to bet they're gonna to have to pay some sort of seller's concession. So whatever you do, if you hire a real estate agent, just listen to what they have to say and and take it as, as 
you know, something that you should at least listen to. It, it's probably really good advice because remember, we're under that pressure. We're right in the middle. We're trying to get the most money as quick as possible. And, and so at least hear what they have to say. They're, I promise you, they're not trying to rip you off. Thank you for listening. This is Rick Ott, broker owner of Remax Homestead in Coppers Cove, Texas.